Very good, very good stage for both of them. Here we go. He has 23. It's gonna dash attack across the stage. Again, tough it. Oh, gets a two frame with down smash. He is a relatively easy character to a two frame, so I'm not surprised that they're going for it, especially right. with Mac. And even if you miss, I mean, there's not a lot that there's not a lot that DDD can do as a character to uh, punish that. Yeah, worst case scenario, you get like four dirt or something, but who cares? You knock them mid stage. Oh wow, that F smash almost killing. Do they get? Oh, DDD. Try to go for the deep tilt. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite get it. All right, Bob Ross, looking, almost looking to, looks like they're trying to conserve KO punch here, but yeah. Honestly, rare for him, but versus a character like DDD, where killing is such a struggle, it makes sense. Right. Oh, oh the par parry. parrying that. That was a. Ooh, nice that was an interaction. The Bob Ross is definitely in their comfort zone in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I can see that. He's just a. Uh, the way that he's moving in, he, in and out of these range, even with like even with the threat of Gordo, is really cool that he knows uh he knows where he can be. Where where to stand to bait out the bait out options from DVD. Yeah, definitely know the threat ranges. Mm -hmm. This is a really scary spot because both that jet hammer and the dash attack from DVD can both two frame will not very easily mm -hmm. because he doesn't snap. With the back air doesn't quite kill. Making oh, all the, of the jumps oh, the to get two. back, but good back air from Fred catching yeah. the ledge. So. Despite a really strong start from Bob Ross, Fred was able to kind of slow it down and play his own game and make his way back into it. Yeah, 100%. Oh, tries going for the as much one frame. Barely misses it, but still gets down to up B. Going a little bit of patience in how they're pushing and playing neutral right now. Yeah, Fred is just content to keep running away and throwing Gordos. Eventually, uh... We'll try going for the down air jab block. Ooh, and then the up B. Gonna get risky. one up air. Good DI from Bob Ross, honestly. Uh, making sure there's no uh, no follow-up off that up air. Yeah. I want to say if Bob Could've... Ross reads it, he can neutral B out of the up air. Probably. That armor armor gives Mac another really good, really much needed tool out disadvantage. And yeah, 100%. Up smash gonna... Ooh, nice 30. And we got a KO punch coming online here pretty soon. Yeah. Fred's got a... He has to figure something out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the two frame. Two frame again. And he's Ooh. out of jumps here now. Oh. Down tilt KO punch. That was such a smooth stock by Bob Ross. Absolutely. I wonder if... The double two frame. I can't imagine Fred counterpicks Terry. I feel like that, that on paper sounds so much more rough, especially with a character you're less familiar with. I think maybe he's just going to... I'm assuming we're hearing an FB and maybe a Kalos ban from Bob Ross. Um, so ES2 is another solid pick. You know, you want, want to try to keep that much of that stage round yeah, that you can. <laughs> I know for Bob Ross specifically, he normally would ban like F and Kalos and maybe Story. The second man's normally matchup dependent. But the first ban is always Kalos just because Matt cannot play on that save. There's no point. And the Fred plant. The Fred plant. We don't got the J plant, but we got the Fred plant. Three, two, J Brav popping off. Yo, plant gang for a reason. No kidding, man. No warning. I will say, I don't think. Outdated graphic. If. If Bob Ross has ever played this matchup outside of online, I'd be heavily surprised. Alrighty, yeah, but, but he doesn't seem like he needs it. Playing advantage so well right now. I can't believe, yeah. Who would have thought two bottom ten characters in top four? What attack? I'm feeling a risky up but I could have got a lot of work. Mm. Ooh, but playing is so easy to two. Yeah, so much uh so much time to react to when they start their up versus when they actually get the acceleration towards towards the ledge, so I will say that's something that Fred has in common with a lot of his characters, that they're very easy to two frame. Also they do very specific things. You know, ooh, that one hit in air not sending in the tumble, so not losing KO punch from that. Good on good for Bob Ross, the jab lock KO punch. Barely. 
Oh, plant might have been heavy barely, enough. Barely, barely, barely. He barely dies. Maybe a little bit of DI. I don't know. It looked like he went straight up. So. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either way. Yeah, 20 with the ultimate beats the down B armor. Mm-hmm. That is the tech. Bob Ross looking very strong right now. And then the runoff in there, that's yep. going to take it for sure. But he still has a full stock lead. That's... Yeah, Fred taking one stock, but it's probably a little bit too late for this game. Yeah, this is definitely a rough one to come back from. You need to get a nice edge guard. That's the start of one. Oh. Oh. Narrowly missing the final hit that would have converted that stock. Oh, the down, down. to side B still with some heavies. And that's going to take game two. I think Fred's probably not going to stay Piranha Plant, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, I don't know who he's going to go, though. Does he go back to the DD when that got low percent two stock? Does he go to the Terry, just hoping? I'm not sure, but we're going back to the PS2, so maybe the plant again? We'll see. Oh, going, going back, back to DD. I think that's a good play. Yeah, that's the character he's most familiar with. I don't think... I think by default, that never makes it bad. Right. So here we go, game three, Bob Ross up 2-0. Loser semifinals. Winner of this plays Jace White Fang. Yeah. Um I know for Bob Ross, this is definitely a tough event for him to be able to qualify for because he has to play against either he has to beat White Fang, who has a lot of experience playing against the little map flaws, or he has to and then he also wants to beat Miniman. And that sounds like such an insanely hard matchup for Little Mac. I wouldn't be surprised if he won a secondary, but I don't yeah. think the games were bad enough to really warrant it for the most part with Henry. I don't know. The match that Pinkster guy played against Bob Ross earlier was uh, pretty uh, pretty one-sided. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we've got a good Ooh, game and a, a raw F-Smash. Bob Ross trying to punish, but... Nothing doing oh, there. That was a greedy inhale. Get inside mm -hmm. to beat for it. So a minute off. Stock gone from each player. But then again, Bob Ross is the one playing with a two-game two game lead. So yeah. this is Fred's... Uh, There's little or no pressure on mm -hmm. Bob Ross right now. Misses the jab block punch, but gets the jab at least a little bit of extra percent. Fred's getting a lot of mileage out of these down tilts. He's being able, he's reading uh, when Bob Ross is actually going to dash in and just beating him to the punch with that down tilt. It's a pretty quick move, so. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a lot of risk on him. Like right there, mm -hmm. he took 25 30 for it. For miss, for not for reading incorrectly that he's going to dash in, but the down throw fair is going to give KO punch. Ooh, the side B taking it out. Ooh, Narrowly missed face. But then just raw smashes him. Bob Ross is a. He certainly is an orthodox. A lot of these options don't really make sense, but that's a little Mac player, you know? Yeah. But I feel like he's making very quick decisions on risk reward, and most of the time it's not awful. Right. But that was a really good ledge trap from Fred, even up the stock right back. Um, so here we are, last stock. Of Get a little up there from mm -hmm. little Mac, a little air Mac. You know it. And Fred's at 70 on his tournament stock here. He's got to find something. He's got to find a way to get Mac into disadvantage. That's a draw. Oh, the parry F smash. Wow. What a show from Bob Ross. Yeah. Like Showing was... everyone why he's third seed at this event. Yeah, absolutely. Rightfully so. So we're going to have Bob Ross versus White Fang, White Fang in Losers Finals. Now, the only Gridley experience that Bob Ross had